think he'll be all right? Of course he will. Yeah, you don't just leave your wife and your kid and you carry on like nothing's happening. <laughs> you did. Just don't want him sitting around on his own getting maudlin, that's all. He'll be all right. He's lost his dad. He's gonna miss him. So will I. I loved him too, you know. No worse than bottling it all up. You think that's what he's doing? Seen it before. When your mum died. You wet buckets. He hardly blew his nose. Right, vamos. We're gonna sand, varnish the floorboards, put in new windows, new skirtings. Fitted shelves, cupboards, either side the fireplace. Should look nice. Hallway. Replaster, paint throughout. Bannister, spindles, stripped back. Joe, at last. We thought you'd forgotten about us. No, no, we would have phoned, but the funeral took a lot of sorting out. Of course, sorry. Really. I'm very sorry about your grandfather. Who is it, Laura? It's Joan Trevor, and... This is our dad, Lenny. He'll be staying with us for a while. Huh? Well, I realise we're a bit behind, so Dad's gonna help us out. Hey? Can I offer you my condolences, Mr Purvis? <laughs> They're not that bad to work with, Laura. <laughs> Steel, strip. Steel, strip. Steel, train. We need to get rid of every scrap of paper. Sand it down, you slap some filler on, then dance naked in the street with your hair on fire. Are you listening? No. Is that the Millennium Dome? Oh, ah, yeah. I suppose you'll be long gone by the time it opens. When's that then? Are you going to get started or what? I'm off down the builder's yard. Ah, uh, so much to see, so little time to see it. No time at all. I told them we're going to work the weekend. Steam, strip. Please, please don't mention the money. I think I would. Hello, Henry. Nice to see you. Sorry I haven't got that 28 grand I owe you. What's for lunch? And don't talk about the house, either. Why not? It'll make him think about the money. One more favour. You know he's going to try and wind you up. Rise above it, please. Oh, what's his girlfriend called? I'm not going to tell you again. No, what? I do turn that down, down. What about a drink, Paul? Or are you driving? Am I? Oh, yes. <laughs> Can I have a Bloody Mary, please, Dad? You may. Paul, made your mind up? Uh, just water, please. Fizzy or still? Doesn't matter. Doesn't it? Laura, darling. Sorry to have been so rude. Stuck in the kitchen like that. <laughs> Drink, Moo. Um, gin and tonic, please. Paul, I am. He's gone. Gone where? I don't know. What about the walls? I gave him a job to do. Hello? <laughs> Anyone at all? Sam! Bollocks! Yeah, that's him. Thanks for picking us up, you bastards. Where from? King's Cross, man. I left a message on your mobile. Did you? Well, that's great. Sam can do the walls in here. We don't need Dad. Of course we do. We need him here. Why? There's three of us without him. Trevor, what did I tell you? I do not want my dad sitting around on his own getting maudlin. He needs looking after. He'll be all right. He's a big lad, our dad. Nice trip. Aha, bloody hard.
you want some more of this milk? Please, darling. Are you still working abroad a lot, Lou? Sorry, if I got that wrong, I thought you were always popping over to France. I am. But Mu is what Henry calls me. Her name's Maddie. In case you'd forgotten. Oh, sorry, you're having water, aren't you? So, how's the house going? Can you bear to talk about it? Oh, it's coming on in leaps and bounds. Really? Oh, I am glad. I thought you would be de despairing of the whole project. Well, the project, as you call it, is going really well. Our home, as I like to call it, will be really great. Well, I never doubted it would be, Paul, but I know how impossible builders can be, especially your posse. These are top-notch builders. We're very happy with them, aren't we, Laura? Hmm. But Henry says they treat your house like a campsite. Well, I'm sure Paul has balanced the inconvenience against the price. He knows how to deal with people like that. I expect you're driving a pretty hard bargain, aren't you, Paul? Penalty clause if they miss the completion date? You do have a completion date. We don't need one. They've done just about everything now. Done? As in finished? Mm-hmm. Wiring? Yes. Plumbing? Yes. <clears throat> it's basically just the uh, painting and decorating. Well, come and see for yourself if you don't believe me. Why don't you both come to lunch? Well, you must... Uh, sweetheart, uh, perhaps we should... No, we'd like you to. <clears throat> That'll be lovely. Actually, there is still quite a lot of work to be done. Well, Paul seems to think you're ready now. So, shall we say... A week today? Great. But there are... It's all right, he won't harm you. His way of being friendly. Come here. Mind. Nearly finished. In there. Why? So, all these units to be replaced. Ash, I think, but I'm willing to be guided. And the front room knocked through. I believe it's a load-bearing wall. Uh, it is. Yeah. But that's not a problem. Yeah, we can do this. It's easy. Marvellous. In which case, the big question is, how much? I was thinking more, when can you start? I'm off to L.A. next week, and I want everything done before I get back. I can't live with any mess in my house. When are you back? A couple of months. Can you do it? It's coming really tight. We can do this. We need to be out of here in four weeks. Huh? We can't. We can. I've worked it out. What if we don't want to stay in London? I'm up for a bit more of the high life. Can I have your binge? I thought you wanted to go back to see more of your daughter. Trevor, don't you get it? This is a chance to make a reputation for ourselves. Hello, lads. Dad. Hi, right, Larry. Where the hell have you been? We've been worried sick. I wasn't worried. I had a very nice day, thank you. Saw most of London from the river. On a boat? Take a wild guess, Trevor. What's that smell? It's you, Dad. Oh, <laughs> well, I'll be from the barge, man. I met this canny lad called Slug. He runs rubbish to a dump just past the barrier. And what about the job you're supposed to be doing? I didn't fancy it. But we've got deadlines to keep. You might have. Me? I've got the whole world to see, man. Morning, all. Morning. Listen, I'm sorry about this. Slight change of plan. Laura's got her dad coming here to lunch next Saturday. It's a very important day for her. So I want all the plumbing work done. New water tank, new boiler, new bathroom suite. Fitted and working. In less than a week? Mm -hmm. That's impossible, Paul. Throw at me plans completely. That's not the same as impossible. I want a proper bathroom for my father-in-law. Why? What's wrong with the one you're using? It stinks. The loo doesn't flush half the time, though. I don't have to justify my decision to you, Trevor. I'm telling you what I want. 
And I'm telling you it can't be done. Well, for a start, the plumbers aren't due for a fortnight. We could maybe reschedule them. They're very busy. Yeah, so am I. Look, I tell you what, there's an extra 300 quid in it for you if you get it done on time. How about that? It's not a question of money, Paul. 500, cash in hand. We'll do it. Cheers. See you later, lads. Just when I think I've got the measure of your stupidity, you do something that makes me step back in amazement. Lolly, take a couple of phone calls. Just think of the money. 500 quid, man. It's brilliant. Does no one think long term apart from me? If we don't finish the whole job on time, then we can't go down the road for the next job. It's cash in hand. And what do you want cash in hand for, Trevor? Daniel, you know, baby things. We always need something. Do you know what you need? I. I need you off me back. All right, Emma? Why, well, you've caught the sun nicely there, pet. Oh, have I? Oh, I'd really suit you that time. And your, uh, your dress set is not for treat. You're trying to embarrass me or something? It takes more than that, you know, Simon. But if you think you can, go ahead. Make me blush. Just as I thought, you're all talk. No, I'm not. I can put some colour in your cheeks. What about tonight? Does he never stop working? Only a couple of phone calls. Never seen him like this before. What? Well, can't you tell there's something wrong? Sure. Well, if you can't see it, I'm gonna have to worry about the penalty. See you back there. Hang on, I'll come with you. Roger! Same again, Joe. Go on, then. Mm. I think I saw a pen coin on the floor. Just there. I'll look for it later. Give your hand if you like. It might have to wait till closing time. That's OK. No one to hurry home to? Well, even in the wars, I don't think I'd go. If you're looking for plumbers, I know three of the best. Yeah? They're drinking here most nights. We've almost finished a job down the road. I could make the introduction. Oh, thank you, Kat. Oh, you want? You certainly do. Right. Evening. It's, uh, Emma from next door, right? Yeah, that's right. Are you going to introduce us then, Simon? Oh. <laughs> I'm Lenny. Joe and Trevor's dad. Emma, what are you doing here? Trevor manages with Simon. In Joe's bed? Oh, sorry. It's just it not the most comfortable. You said there'd be hours. It's my fault, Pet. I was starving. Do you want some food? Or have you eaten already? Toilet and burst. Door opposite. Be with you in a minute. Night, night to the nice man. Night, night. Night, night. It's 
me what you hope, sweetheart. Come on, let's find Teddy. Let's go to bed. Let's go to bed. Can't do this. There's no hurry. We've got all night. No, we haven't got to go. Huh. Sorry. I can't. Do you have too much to drink? Is it me? No. No. No, my problem. I don't understand. You don't have to. Like I said, it's my problem. What? Time to get up. Come on. It's quarter past five, Mum. Oh. Oh, do you fancy a lion? So do I. Hmm. Paul! Yeah. What's happening here? Joe's decided to concentrate on the plumbing. Joe's decided. I've asked him to put the ceiling on the back burner. Because of this lunch with Henry and Moo. I told them everything was nearly finished. If the plumbing isn't fixed, I look like a prat. Paul, we agreed the builders would finish the top floor and work their way down. You don't own this house, we do. Before you change anything, you talk to me, OK? You can tell them to forget about this. I would, but I've offered them a bonus if they get it done on time. How much? 500. Which would appear magically from where, exactly? How's that settled, then? <laughs> the night off, so do you want to do something? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, shall we go out? Where? You choose. Well, it doesn't matter to me as long as we end up in bed. Oh, Simon. What, don't you fancy a show? <laughs> I might do, but you know what? I want it to happen spontaneously. When? Simon. What, we both know it's gonna happen. Do we? Emma, forget what she said. Take your gear back downstairs. Well, we just brought it back up again this morning. But that means we've lost a whole day. We can't finish on time now. Thousand pounds says you can. <sighs> I'm on me way. Will you just hang on, will you? Listen, for a moment. Now, you can have your plumbing done quickly, or you can have it done properly. It's up to you. But I strongly recommend you want it done by Friday night. It's a laugh, isn't it, eh? Simon! What's Emma's problem, eh? Are we gonna talk about this all night? She dragged me into bed. Put up a struggle, did you? Of course not, but... Now, nah, the point is, why has she gone off me now? Nah, I don't understand what she wants. What do you think she wants, Trev? Don't ask me. I... Where do you think it went wrong with you and Karen? 
She got bored. It's hard to believe, I know. Hey, Joe. Sorry. What about you, Joe? When did your marriage first... What is this, Simon? Opera sudden bloody Winfrey. The thing you lads forget is, women like to talk. You want to get to know them, talk to them. I do talk to them. Before, during, and after. <laughs> Listen to yourself, Simon. Now, but sex, sex, sex. Oh, yeah, I know. Who wants a drink? No, thanks. Mmm. Mmm. I'm off. Joe! Joe, what the... Do the favor, will you? Get the drinks from him. We need to talk. Ah. You okay? Fine. You? Oh, fine. All right, mate. Um, talk wine to bed, please, and uh, pack the drinks. I haven't forgotten what I promised. I was going to introduce those plumbers to you. When I see them, I'll point them in your direction. Right. Thanks. I've got customers to serve. Is there something else you wanted? I wanted to say... Sorry. I tried to tell you last night. It's just there's been a lot of things on my mind. And I couldn't stop you thinking about whatever. Oh, you did. It's just, when I saw your daughter... What the hell she got to do with this? I thought we had the house to ourselves. She wasn't on her own, you know. My mum was with her. God, I'd never leave Alice alone. I'm sure you wouldn't. It's just... I've got a daughter the same age. What are you saying? You think I'm a tart for letting you sleep with me with my little girl next door? No. It's not what I'm saying. Then what are you saying? <sighs> You're not making any sense. Any time this week will be fine. Me? Hey? You pint. Simon's getting them in. She has much. Bollocks! That's three pints you wore me. I've just worked that out. One, two, three. What? I count too fast for you. So. Be it. You pay him, twat. Joe. Joe, man. You have to look for trouble. Sorry, his medication's wearing off. Oh, another gutless Geordie. <laughs> You heard. Well, come on, eh? Come on, let's have you! Oh, no. Fire! Three doors in Newcastle, three! I'd have stuck around if I'd known what you were planning. A night in the cells and a criminal record. We just got a caution. There was no fine or anything. There's the taxi. I think Joe's paying for that. I'm really late. Is anyone seeing my bag? Yeah, I think it was on the kitchen table. Thanks. Um... What are you doing? Well, I'll not tell you about this. No. Ah. Of course, I'm I'm taking Emma and Fraser here to see the Cuddy Sark. Could you put me 20 quid, please? I'm phoning Paul. Nobody do anything till I get back. Emma? Um, what are you doing? Didn't you hear? We're off for a day out. Lenny's made a quiche. A quiche? You know, I think I will get his coat. It's clouding over. Right up, Ed. Trying to do to me. To you? No. Hey, she's a smashing lass. We discussed you enough to be a granddad. <laughs> I'm just trying to show her a good time, man. I bet you are, you dirty old man. But we agreed they'd go back upstairs. Laura, please. Uh, I mean, if you just let me explain. Laura, darling. <laughs> Well, now back upstairs. Yes, please. This is stupid, man. 
No one knows what's going on, you know. There's no point in staying and get you back upstairs because as soon as Paul comes home, it's going to be all changed again. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of everything. What do you want me to do about it? Sort it out, man. Me? It's Purvis and Purvis, isn't it? We've got near Purvis, so that means it's down to Purvis. That's you. Do you want to lose a thousand pound? Then shift yourself then, man. Laura! Hang on! Where do you want to be dropped off? Anywhere's fine for me. Where are you going? Shops, the bank? Is that where you're going? No, I'm going to work. Where's that? Just off the high road. Oh, well, that's perfect for me, Ty. I don't even know what you do. I work for a housing association. We redevelop old buildings, make them fit for people to live in. A bit like us? We don't do it for profit. Oh, right. It is quite important for us. The money, I mean. Especially for me. Especially now. Why now? We've parted. Me and Karen. You're joking. No. Of course you're not sorry. That was a stupid thing to say. What happened? It's a long story, Laura. I know you're busy. I should have seen it coming, but you don't, do you? Well, not until it's too late. You just keep pretending. I mean, all the signs are there, but it's, it's like you're looking back on them. You just don't see them when they're right there in front of you. Does that make sense? Yes. Still, with Daniel. You'll still be able to see him. Oh, yeah, we agreed I can see him when I want. That's good. Well, that's what you said last week. But there's Andy Wolf. I mean, she says that they're just friends, but... Well, that's what we were before we started going out together, so... Well, for all I know, he... Well... This is where I work. Ah, uh, right. This sounds terrible, but... It all comes down to money in the end. I don't want it to. But it does. I want Daniel to know that I still care about him. How do I do that if I'm not going to be around him all the time? The only thing I can do is buy him toys, or clothes, you know, get him stuff so that he'll look at it and he'll think, that's from my dad. He must still care about me. Do you think babies think like that? I suppose so. What do grown-ups do? You really want Paul's bonus, don't you? Said we'll do it your way. I'm sorry. Yes, yeah, so you should be. No, I meant, did I hear you right? You're not sorry. Well, yeah, I am. But you've been a very silly boy, but I'll forgive you. 
I'll say nothing more about the ceiling till all the plumbing's done. And, as a special treat, I'll cook something delicious for the four of us on Saturday. Do you have to? Do we? <laughs> 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 Hello there. Oh. Barmaid down the cock and anchor centres. Oh, all right. You wanted some plumbers? You are feeling very sympathetic towards a certain someone today. Plumbers are here, lads. You all right? Do you know with another? Look at this. See what you did? Yeah, well, you started it. You never finished it, though. Hey, come on, lads. Let's just forget it, eh? Why? Scared, cos the other one's not with you. No, no, there's three of us now. Oh, wait, three on three. Hey, what are you saying? Oh, hell. Come on, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, Plumbers turned up. Oh. Done a nice job. Was them tosses from the pub? I didn't know it when I let them in, Jewel. I'm sorry. It wasn't your fault, Dad. <laughs> Why did I think something might go right just for once? Oh, mess! Just like everything else. Oh, well, we can forget the next job. That was an idiot to think we'd finish here. Oh, no. You're not an idiot, Joe. You're lazy. Arrogant. Selfish? I mean, not to worry about who got hurt and not a question about how the trouble started. Just thinking about yourself, as usual. You're OK, aren't you? You should have been here! <laughs> so what do we do? We do the problem. Trevor? Do you want to finish this job? Trevor, we're not plumbers. We know nothing about it. Uh, you, maybe. Me? I've been to the library. I didn't for the bin, if I were you. What was it, anyway? Oh, uh, some Delia Smith concoction. Oh, eh? I'm an Antonio Carucci man myself. Really? You missed a bit. If 
you've got nothing better to do. It's all under control, Paul. You'll have hot and cold running water, toilets, that flush before you wake up tomorrow. As long as you don't wake up till midday. Are oh, they coming at one? It's a joke, Paul. Can I help? Yeah, you're supposed to be cooking. I've delegated. Lenny's doing it. Lenny? I don't want faggots and peas or whatever it is you eat up north. I'm sure we'll all enjoy it. You'll join us for lunch tomorrow, won't you? What? Very kind. And Trevor and Simon, too, of course. Oh, no, no. Hang on a minute, Laura. The more the merrier, I say. You're gonna tell us then. What? What happened with you and the barmaid? Nothing happened. If I tell you it's between you and me, okay? Well, yeah, we went back to her place. We had a couple of drinks. And then we started to too pissed. What? Well, you couldn't, you know. I'll get to that. You couldn't do it, could you? <laughs> Not that I couldn't. I didn't want it. Oh, no. There was somebody else there. She wanted a threesome? No. Oh, she wanted something kinky-like? No. Why couldn't you do it? Because I didn't want to, Trevor. You? Yes. Me. There must have been times when you didn't want to with Karen. Piss off. No way. I was always keen as mustard, me. And we never had any disappointments, I can tell you. Hey, you can get pills now, you know, to sort you out. I saw it in Rich and Judy. I don't need so now, Trevor. Five minutes, lads. Uh, just wash me hands. Try not to dwell on it, eh? So this is it then, is it? Your idea of a night out? There's a karaoke on later. What do you want, Simon? What? You invited me here for a drink. You said you wanted to ask me something. So what is it? Well, I want... <laughs> it's just out. I don't want you shagging Lenny. Good night, Simon. And goodbye. I'm there. All set. Nearly. Good. Can you give us a hand with the dining table? Yeah, yeah. Let me just uh, check this. Come on, Trevor. It'll be here soon. Yeah, OK, OK. Just, li just put the lid on. Come down. Right. Bloody father. Where's the council? No, he hasn't, but that bloody moo has. Some story about a crisis in Paris. On a Saturday? I don't think so. Calm down, Paul. It's not the end of the world. Yeah, it's funny that. He didn't seem to think it mattered either. I think it's bloody rude. Well, I don't. It's more food for the rest of us. Uh, Andy said he might be late. Might be. Lenny, can we aim to eat about two? No, you tell me. Taming's crucial for this, you know. What is it? <sighs> Risotto con due cocciofi, followed by braccioletti di maiale al vino rosso. Tell me that's not faggots and peas.
There's someone in there. It's only me. What are you doing? I'm having a bath, and it's fantastic. Ah, oh, good. Is the toilet all right? Yeah, Trevor taught it's great. He's here, Laura. OK, I'll be there in a minute. Lenny, this is delicious. Thank you very much. I find I enjoy cooking now. I used to leave it up to the wife when these two were beds. Was the wife up in Newcastle? No, no, she uh, died a while ago. My dad died last week. Oh, I'm sorry. No, he was getting on. Hasn't been easy the past few years. Henry, what do you think of the house? Well, can I reserve judgment till we've had the tour? <laughs> Joe, can you pass the wine, please? Joe. Wine for Henry. I'll get that. Sorry, Henry, I didn't notice your glass was empty. You're not dwelling, are you? No. So what about you, Henry? Why is your missus not here? Oh, don't get him started on my mother, please. Oh, I'm sorry. Is it a sore point? It's personal. I'm quite happy to talk about the old car. <laughs> we were divorced a long time ago. Me and Joe were talking about divorce just the other day. When would you? Just leave it, Trevor. He went through it a while ago with his wife. I've just left mine last week. Oh, I'm sorry. Still, if a marriage isn't working, it's always best to acknowledge the fact. Put an end to the misery. Well, I wouldn't mind if it was just my wife. But there's my baby to think of as well. I've got a photo of him somewhere. Ah. Yeah. That's my son, Daniel. Yeah, I hardly think Henry wants to see photos of your fair. That was taken a couple of months ago. He's a lot bigger now. <laughs> what a lovely boy. Cheeky grin. <laughs> you know, he's very like Laura when she was that age. Oh, no, Dad, please. Come on. Have you ever seen <laughs> such a naughty little thing? <clears throat> well, I've missed dinner, have I? No? No, I'll just go and find Percy. That's him at Whitley Bay. God, give me strength. Who's that? Boys! That's Simon. So now we're all here. Excellent. Where do you live, Henry? Highgate. Near Hampstead Heath. Oh, that's a bit posh. A bit pricey, I mean. Property's a bit pricey up there, yes. Worse than round here. Laura, what do you say? Property's expensive everywhere in London. Hey, not just London. When me and Karen were first trying to find a house in Newcastle, we couldn't even afford the deposit. Fortunately, her mum and dad helped out in the end. Got a nice flat, thanks to them. How oh, very supportive of them. Wine, Henry? Will you still see the in-laws now you've split up with Karen? I hope not. I can't stand them. <laughs> Henry, <laughs> more wine? Bracioletti di maiale al vino rosso. Box or something now. Actually, I prefer fizzy water if you have it. I hope it's just water in your glass. Remember what Simon was doing up there. Only quit a bottle this wine. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha. 
Sonny. It's not funny! This is days of work wasted. Joe! Joe, son! I'm starving me, Joe. Famished man, I tell you. I was gonna test it, but well, Laura was having a bath and she said the toilet was fine, so it was not my fault. It's not my fault, Joe. Of course it is, Trevor. It's all your fault. Yeah, that's hardly fair, son. No, Dad, should I tell you what's not fair? Me being stuck with a bunch of useless twats. think it's it's one big joke but it's what I do for a living you've got to admit it was bloody funny when no dad it's not funny when a whole room has got to be replastered and repainted and and plumbing's got to be ripped out and done properly I've no chance of doing that job down the road now but because of you I did my best it wasn't good enough Trevor well it never is for you is it I keep trying to do it right. Well, I mean, you don't help, what? <laughs> I help you all the time. That's all I do, help you, Simon, you. Hey, I don't need your help, son. Bollocks! You pissing about in the kitchen, pretending you're a chef, cooking Italian food and not even a bloody England. Hey. And you, you, you are just crap. Yeah, you keep saying. I'm the only one who knows what they're doing around here. And what exactly is that? to endure. I don't know, Dad. Hey, how are you? Sorry. Sorry. Yeah. Cheers, son. Sorry, I keep saying you're crap. It's all right. I know you don't mean it. No, I didn't say I didn't mean it. I'm just sorry I keep saying it. It'll work out in the end, won't it? Oh, the house. Everything. <clears throat> what are you doing? This glass man is stuck. I'm trying to get it near to my mouth, but I just can't seem to get it up. <laughs> Trevor, why did you tell them? I'm sorry. I'm crap at keeping secrets. I couldn't keep it up. <laughs> <laughs>